So you want to learn how to use TradingView like a pro. Well, that's why you click this video, right? Well, lucky for you, I have thousands of hours on TradingView. If your screen time doesn't look like this, are you even a trader? First things first, we need to get on TradingView. Go down to my pinned comment on this video. After you click that link, it'll bring you to this page. First thing you want to do is click this products tab, then click supercharts. This will take you to the chart, which is probably where you'll spend most of your time. By default, the chart will look like this. Oh my eyes! Yeah, it's absolutely disgusting. Let's change that. Click this avatar icon, enable dark mode. Simple, right click anywhere on the chart and click settings. Go to the canvas section. I personally use this color for my background. I'll leave the color code on the screen. Next, go to grid lines. Turn the opacity down to zero for both these boxes. You can save this template by going down here, click save as, name it whatever you want. Now, your chart should look like this. You're welcome. Now, how do you see a specific chart? If you want to search up symbols to trade, simply go to this top section and click this. You're going to want to make sure you're in the all category and simply search whatever ticker you're interested in. So if you want to look at Tesla's chart, you would simply search Tesla, click this, and boom, you're now trading with Elon Musk. Pro tip! You can simply just start typing from the chart screen and it'll automatically bring up this window so you don't have to manually click up here every single time. Pro tip! Right next to this search box is the time frame. Simply come up here and select whichever one you prefer. So if you click daily, every candle on this chart now represents a day. If you click hourly, every candle now represents an hour. Newsflash, you now control time. Congratulations. Now if you ever go on a professional trading floor, most of the time you'll see the analysts have multiple charts open at the same time. Pretty fancy, right? To do that, simply click this little icon right here, then you'll see all the different layouts you're able to choose from. So if you ever wanted a side by side, you simply click this layout. Now you have two different charts on your screen. Okay, but maybe you want to take it a bit further. Maybe you want to compare two assets at the same time. Click whichever window, simply start typing. So we'll put NVIDIA on this one, then click on the right window, start typing, and we'll put Bitcoin for this one. So now we can see both NVIDIA and Bitcoin on the same screen. Pretty nifty, huh? Probably even cooler than that. Say if you wanted to say practice trading, you can click this replay tool, simply select anywhere on your chart, and only erase everything in the future. Then you can try to guess where price will go based on your analysis. Press play down here and see if your analysis was right. But say you had a normal nine to five job working at a cheese factory and you weren't able to check the charts as often as you would like to. Well boy, do I have the tool to help you at your cheese factory. You can click this alert button up here, select the symbol you want notifications for, select crossing for the condition and type in whatever price value. Go to the notifications category, select send email, click create. Now if price ever crosses that price, you will get an alert sent directly to your email. Pretty useful. Pro tip! You don't have to just do specific price crossings. You can do all sorts of indicator alerts if price moved up or down a specific percentage or so much more. Get creative. Pro tip! Maybe you want to create a watch list of everything you want to watch that day. Simply click this watch list icon, select the add symbol, then type in whatever asset you like. It'll add it to this list. You can add multiple assets to this list and whenever you select one, it'll automatically change the chart to that asset. If you want to get really nerdy about it, you can color code these by selecting this flag and selecting the color. So maybe enter positions are green and the ones you are just watching are blue. You can even make sections within this list by right clicking and clicking add section. If you ever wanted to categorize assets within this list. If you ever wanted to make a whole separate watch list, you click your list up here and select create new list. So maybe you want a watch list for crypto and a watch list for stocks and separate them. Name one stocks, name one crypto. Now you have two separate watch lists. So we know how to add an asset to our chart and we know how to add it to our watch list, but where do we get that information? Under your watch list will be a section. This section can give us a lot of useful data, data that I use very often, including when the next earnings report is, the volume for that specific asset, and the market cap. Scroll down a bit more and you can see a graph of their earning to see if they're making money as a company or maybe they're not. Keep on scrolling and you'll see a graph of their income statement. If you want even more details, click this button. You can now be your own financial advisor and literally see every financial statistic you possibly ever wanted. There's a lot of information 
information. And you can even switch through these categories and get even more information. Proof tube! Don't know how to read financial data like this? Simply take a screenshot, upload it to ChatGPT, and ask it about it and what it thinks about it. And you'll get a lot of information very quickly. Proof tube! Go back to the bottom right, scroll down a bit more, and you can see the seasonal. So maybe the company you're looking at is a Santa hat making company. You'd see around at the end of the year, their stock would generally rise because people buy Santa hats close to Christmas. And you could see at the end of every year that their stock went up during that time and compare it to previous years. This would give you the idea that if you invested at the end of the year, you'd most likely make money. Yeah. Seasonals are pretty useful. Scroll down a bit more and you can see the analyst rating if it's a buy or a sell, which is what big institutions currently rate the stock. And you will also get the average one year price target where they expect the price to go in one year. Again, can be pretty useful. Now's the fun part you've all been waiting for, TradingView's tools. Now there's a lot of these tools, and when I say a lot, I mean an absolute close. So I'm not gonna go over all of them, but I will go over the ones I personally use the most. First, go to the first category, click this little arrow on the side to view more options. This will give you all the options in this first category. One of the staples in trading and probably one of the most used tools is the trend line. Click it, draw it anywhere on your chart. You can even change the color, size, and even add text to this trend line via the settings window here. Another one I like to use a lot is the horizontal ray. Instead of drawing the trend line yourself and it annoyingly being bad sometimes, and a tiny bit crooked, you can use the horizontal ray and it'll give you a perfectly horizontal line. Next category involves Fibonacci retracement. I'm not gonna go over a full explanation of what it is, but the gist is the Fibonacci sequence is a formula used in a lot of natural things, like flower petals, shells, hurricanes, galaxies, just to name a few. All of them use this specific formula, and a lot of people think this formula is naturally in the markets as well. To use it, click the Fib retracement, simply mark from the low of the chart to the high of the chart. This will give you a Fibonacci range. A lot of the time, price will come down to the 618 level and it'll reverse here like it just did here, making this point a great point to enter into a trade. This happens pretty often. There's a lot more to it. If you want to learn more about it, I made a short video explaining just this topic if you want to watch that after this video. I personally don't use the third category too much, but the fourth category on the other hand, I use all the time. First option is long position. If you ever want to enter a trade, click this. Then select wherever you enter your position. It will now give you a take profit and stop loss. You can adjust these where necessary. So say if you wanted to exit your position for a loss at this price, we would simply drag the stop loss down here. Say if we wanted to take profit and exit for a win, we drag the take profit here. Now we can see some really cool statistics like the risk to reward ratio and how much percent we would lose if price hit our stop loss and how much we would make if price hit our take profit. Say if instead of entering a long trade where we make money as price goes up, we wanted to enter a short trade where we make money as price goes down. Simply click the same category, but this time click short position. Click wherever you entered, now it'll be the same thing, just reverse. The fifth category will have your shapes. I personally like to use the rectangle tool a lot for my areas of supply and demand. If you ever wanted to add text to your chart, you can simply click this text icon. Another tool I use very frequently is the measuring tool. Simply click and select whatever area you want, and it'll give you an exact amount of days and what percentage it is up or down. Proof tube! You can do shift click to do this faster. Proof tube! Say for whatever reason your chart looked like this with so many drawings you couldn't really tell what was going on. We'll simply click this icon and click hide drawings and now your chart will be blank. If you ever wanted them back, just click this icon again. Okay, this video is getting slightly long, so I'm just gonna rush through some value really fast. Wanna see buy and sell order flow? Come up to this candle icon, click volume footprint. Now every candle on your chart will show you how much buy and sell volume each candle has. Ever heard of RSI, MACD, moving averages, or your Uncle Rob's favorite indicator? To add those, go to the indicator section simply type whatever indicator you want added to your chart, boom, it's now on your chart. If you ever wanted to edit the settings of said indicator, simply go to the top left, find your indicator, click the settings icon, now you can change the metrics, colors of said indicator. Want to see cool indicators other users have made? Go to the home page, hover over community, click indicators and strategy. This will bring you to a full public library of indicators other users have made. Simply click one, there will be a full description of how it works below. Then if you ever wanted to add it to your chart, just click this button right here and it'll now be added to your chart. Maybe instead of doing your analysis on TradingView, then heading to your broker,
broker to manually trade every time, you just want to do everything on TradingView. Go to the bottom, click Trading Panel. These are all the brokers available to connect to your TradingView account. Select one, type in your information. Now you can buy and sell your positions directly on TradingView. Want an easy way to see if a stock beat earnings? Go to the bottom of your chart, hover over this E, it'll show you both the earnings and revenue estimates and what the company reported for that quarter. I'm sure most of you have seen this before, where you can see how each sector is doing in the stock market. Simply go to the products category, scroll down to screeners, go to the heat map category, select stocks. Now you can easily see how each sector is doing. But how do you know which stocks to trade? Go to products, screeners, then stocks. So maybe you only want to see blue chip stocks with high revenue growth. Go to the market cap, select 200 billion and above, then go to the revenue growth. We'll select revenue growth of 25 to 50%. Now the screener will only show you stocks with those metrics. Congratulations, you have searched through 4,000 stocks in the matter of two seconds. Now the screener and some of the other tools I mentioned are only for TradingView's paid plan. I think it's like, $12 a month. In my opinion, for how much I use it, it's completely worth it. To help you out, if you click the link in my pinned comments, it'll give you $15 off your first purchase. So you basically get the first month free to see if you actually get value from it. Well, that's how you use TradingView. See you next time.